Now back to Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. There's a time I scored four touchdowns in one game on this field. I played high school football. <laughs> four touchdowns in one game. Do I know you, man? Ever hear of Al Bundy? <laughs> Oak High, all city, four touchdowns in one game. I mean, honest to God, that, I that show's it. still hanging. It, it Absolutely holds up. Absolutely, it does. It's so good. We're talking about our Al Bundy moment. This is a, a moment for Jaden right now because he's about to have his football game in an hour. In one hour, yeah. So Jaden, my 14-year-old, is in um, Florida. Kissimmee. Kissimmee, Kissimmee, Florida. Is it Kissimmee? Kissimmee. Kissimmee. Is he's he's in Florida right now for the AYF National Championships and it's Pop Warner, right? It's uh, American something something AYF American Youth Football. Okay, yeah. So um, Pop Warner's not as huge here as as is that the same places. thing? Well, there's like there's different divisions of it. It's uh, it's a lot of letters. I don't know what's that, going on? Yeah, but yeah. So he is in Florida the national championship, and I. It, I'm getting updates and I just the last one I got was all the boys getting taped up and stuff and um, the team mom said calm before the storm and I cried because oh. <laughs> I'm just so excited. Well, you're you're literally going to watch your son play on pay-per-view. Yeah, literally. It's it's as much as a UFC fight. It's, it's $60. $60. Are there play-by-play -play people? Um, they do. So it's so you pay the 60 bucks for the entire week. So you can watch all of That's the games right. and they do player interviews. I mean, this is like a legit, like serious deal. This is a once in a lifetime for him. And I'm so proud of him. So we're pumped. We're excited. And I'm just counting down the minutes. Yeah. So I, I, I love youth sports. I, I'm obsessed with it. That's why we have kids that are 11 years apart. So my whole life will be youth sports, probably. Probably. <laughs> well, but you came up in youth sports as well. You played in yeah. a sport, right? Yeah, I played sports my entire life. I played um, three sports every year, and I tried to quit basketball. I think it was like my junior year because I hated the coach and my dad wouldn't let me and it's one of the things I thank him for every day because I think it's so fun. It's just like such a um, it gives you a, a group and it gives you friends and you're doing something other than getting in trouble Yeah. and I just think it's all around whatever you do even if you're going to do music or art or whatever you got to do something. I think it's just it's what you do. So um, yeah I did and I, I loved sports so much. I swam division one mm -hmm. and that That's was what got you through college or at least into college. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I had a scholarship, and it was um, it was so fun. I one of the things that I used to do though, like a core core memory for swim was um, I don't know if you know this about me. I like to be the center of attention, and, no. um, and before <laughs> each meet, I would get on the swim blocks and do a belly flop, and everybody would chant my name. <laughs> And I would have welts on my arms and legs before every single meet. And I did. And then during states, I would do it off the diving board. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And I did it all. all We're going to find out their CTE here. Yeah. <laughs> Years later, it's like, well, really did a, she can did a toll on her. Every single time. <laughs> um, so okay, we're talking about your Al Bundy moment. Like if you were in, in, in kids sports, like what was that moment that you go back on? Like there was one time I did this. 702-597-1027. Mm -hmm. I had nine years of Little League baseball mm -hmm. and I sucked for the first <laughs> half of every season because I was afraid to swing the bat uh -huh. to the point where my dad would be in the crowd and i'll paraphrase because it's boston swing the boom back <laughs> so like if you stink they the coach can have you only in for like three out of the six innings yeah yeah but one of the times my dad put me uh, my, uh no the coach put me in only for two innings mm -hmm. and he was trying to pull me out for the third inning and my dad got on the field and caused a massive scene oh that gosh. they were pulling me out for the third because it's against the rules. Yeah, and yeah, you would yeah. have to forfeit the game. Yeah. So now I'm in for the third. And guess what happened? I hit the game winning run. That's so awesome. Hit the game I love that. So, I love that. But, so that's my that's one of yeah. my two, I think, big stories. How about you? Um, there's there's a lot, a lot of really just really awesome memories, to be honest. Um, one was kind of 
uh, sad, I guess. So I was always pretended like I nothing bothered me. But one meet, it was a huge, huge swim meet. And um, my mom and dad were stuck in traffic. And I was crying on the blocks because I'm super superstitious. Oh. So I, they needed to be there for me to win in my mind. And so I was like stalling. And my coach was like stalling, like, get them here. This <laughs> this girl's not going to dive in. And they got there. The la- One of my, my best friend, Jenna, ran to the parking lot. And was like, let's go. This princess isn't going to dive in until you get here. And they ran up and I ended up um, diving in and, and won. Hey. So I, I still hold a lot of records, um, pool wow. and and uh, for our division at, at home. Somebody just texted my mom. Hey, I was swimming at the pool and saw Amy's name up there. So yeah, you got pretty the, cool. like the placard with your little metal name yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. It's like, the, the thing, it's like a huge, I'll 2004, say it. 2004, Amy Montgomery. Absolutely. But you know what? I think that with all, like all the sports we could talk about this forever like all your your awesome memories from um youth sports but there's nothing like a football player like al bundy who comes back to like the 20-year reunion oh, yeah. with his football and you know, his letterman uh, jacket not sure if you know this, uh, <laughs> he's like i still go to the same bar I'm like yeah you haven't done anything okay <laughs> lord <laughs> relax <laughs> there was my one arch nemesis i remember in fourth grade i had a crush on a girl named debbie but debbie started dating mike and i hated Mike. Mike was a bully and I didn't like him. And I had to deal with Mike my entire school career. It is now the last softball game of gym class in 2002. And he is on the other team. He sees me come up to the plate. So it's easy out. I'm like, you. <laughs> so I got and I hit a home run. And then the second time I was up, I hit another home run. <laughs> easy out. And then the third time I struck out. <laughs> but I will always hey, two remember out that. Of three. Two and out now of he's three. a burnout. Not my radio. <laughs> I I scored a goal and it was the winning goal on my team. That's- and um after that, we went straight home. And when after I washed my hands, I broke my arm. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness. Wait, you broke your arm washing your hands? <laughs> no, it was when I slid and it hit um, the list for the carpet and um, the tiles. Ooh, yeah, that one little oh hard goodness. lip. Oh my goodness! But it's on the day that you scored the game-winning goal, so who cares? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I hate, don't worry. I, I once uh, tripped on a rotten KFC corn on the cob in the street while I was playing basketball and I broke my foot. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> You're so sweet. It's been several, several, several minutes since we started talking about our Al Bundy stories. I know. And, and I just remembered one. You're just going back to your past. You're like, oh, wait, there was this one time. There was one. Uh, we were playing basketball and um, it was super physical. And there were so many technical follow. I was one of them wow. that was receiving and giving. That's for sure. Uh, my mom got kicked out of the game. What? The it, she's I believe she's been kicked out of more than one game. Um, and the refs walked out. They said, you know what? We're not going to do this anymore. Oh it was so aggressive. Elbows being thrown. Elbows. Pe- girls being thrown by other girls. It was, was there so hair much. Uh, no hair grabbing. Okay. but. Not that low. Not that low, but my mom was about to get that low with the with some of the kids that we were playing against. So, anyways, mom gets kicked out. The game gets called, and because it was like a divisional game or whatever it was, we had to go to a neutral, um, a neutral court. You had to go to a neutral yes. site to play your game. Yes, and they picked. We picked it back up at this when there was the same amount of time on the clock and the same score. So, like you know, say Albany there's eight State minutes in prison. <laughs> I totally forgot about that game until right now. I, that's so awesome. Go, Mom. Wow. Did you win? We did win. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how many of those and kids? And nobody went in, to jail. Yeah, I was, how many of those kids ended up in juvie? Besides me? No. <laughs>